Darren, you've had time to reflect on last Saturday's game with the Oval. You said afterwards there were aspects you were pleased with and some aspects you wanted us to improve. Have you been able to go over them with the boys early this week? Yeah, we always talk after the game and, and analyse and we have a little bit of a motto, if you like, where win, lose or draw, we always discuss what we can do better. That's always, I've asked that question a million times this, this season, where can we be better? Um, and we debate it and discuss it and, and the boys come up with with their answers, which they're an honest group, so delighted with their input into the conversation. But I think it was very evident that um, we need to be better with the ball. But having said that, um, you know, there are some stats that heavily help us when the opposition have more possession than us. And I know stats can be very subjective and you can look as deep as you like into stats, but sometimes they're, they're factual and they're, they're, they're there in black and white. And, you know, there's been seven occasions this season where the opposition has had more ball than us but we've won six of them seven games. So there's some encouraging signs, even even though we didn't dominate the ball how I'd like us to and take control of the game. But what that shows us that we can still be solid and hard to beat and, and very effective on the counter-attack. So conversations have been had. You know, we're, 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 we're an honest bunch of people in the change room and we've been straight with each other. But that's without tarnishing the fact that we were the underdog on Saturday and we've gone down now and put in a wonderful defensive display and the target was to win the game and that's what we've done, so very pleased. It's the big thing to come out of winning a game like that, the morale it gives yourself, Junior, and the players going to another big game on Saturday. Well look, we've got a lot of inexperience in the group in, in these types of scenarios, you know, playoff games and, and what have you. So, you know, maybe that maybe that played out in our in our performance slightly on on Saturday. But what also played out, which was very clear to me, is how together this group are, how much they fought for each other. You know, bodies on the line, rode our luck once or twice. Never going to deny that. But you know, the type of spirit that they showed playing for each other. Forget what we're saying on the sideline. Once you cross that line, it's about you eleven, and what that eleven did for each other on Saturday was admirable. So I'm, I was I was chuffed to bits and proud as, as you can be for for them coming through the game um, in the manner that they did and winning it. And what they've set up now is another very, very difficult game where they'll be the underdog again. There's no doubt in my mind Notts County will be the, the favourites. A uh, huge club um, with some very good players. But we'll take a lot of confidence from how, certainly how we defended on Saturday at Yeovil and also you know the belief will be there that we can do something similar and we've got players in the attacking part of the field that can that can cause problems. Does having 90 minutes of playoff competitive football in your legs over knots give you maybe a slight edge or an advantage in some ways because you could tell from the first 10 minutes last week with both teams ease their way into the game. Does that give you an edge that the boys have had that 90 minutes of full-on football again? Maybe a, a very, very, very small advantage, I would say, the fact that they've had, had the games. But, you know, I, I, I can understand why you asked the question. I'm not going to look at it and go that we have an advantage because we've played. Notts County have had a couple of friendlies that we're aware of. Um, people may look into them conceding a few goals in the games and what have you, but it... It, it, in my opinion, it really counts for nothing on the day. Once the once the whistle's blown and we get started, it's it'll again be who's the calmest and who's the most composed. And we know we can improve in that area. But when you talk about composure, I think Efron's best moment in the game um, led to the driving at their back four and and a very accurate, dangerous pass into Maka. His touch was outstanding, that set his opportunity up. Um, and obviously Dave Tatonda's best moment in the game as well, which was very Dave Tatonda-like, where he's turned on a six-foot, drove at their back four, popped a great ball out to Medi, whose first touch was first class. And, and it's a great ball in. So we know that in any moment, 
we've got that type of capability. But like I say, there's areas we, we, we know we're going to try and improve and, and hopefully we'll do that this weekend. There's obviously a lot of excitement in the air and there will be amongst the boys that we're one game from a final at Wembley. Is it down to you to try and temper that excitement or do you want them to go out on the pitch and be excited about that possibility? How can you not be excited about what potentially is going to happen on Saturday? How can, how can you contain that? I can't. You know, I'm, I, I can't wait. You know, what an opportunity for everyone. The fans, the players. You know, we've got some young boys in the squad that, you know, at the, the, the very beginning of their careers. I'm at the very start of my managerial career and we're 95 minutes away from potentially going to Wembley. So how are you going to contain that excitement when you're a football player? I have no idea because I can't wait, you know, and that it will make me the proudest man ever if we can win on Saturday and I get to walk my, my boys out at Wembley. We've obviously, as a club, never stepped foot into New Wembley for a game. Would this be the proudest moment of your early manager career or maybe as a career as a whole if we were to, if you were to leave that side out? Listen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some beating if we, if we get the opportunity to get there, but... You know, we've got a, a very tough game on Saturday that we've got to come through first. But if, if, if I'm sitting here next week and we're discussing potentially going to Wembley on Sunday, I really won't be able to contain my excitement then. Uh, and just lastly, we won up at Notts at the start of the season, way back in August. What kind of game are you expecting this time around? Because they've changed a little bit and yeah. we've changed a little bit. Counts for nothing what happened, you know feels like forever ago doesn't it? it counts for nothing you know they've got a they've got a much changed team from the team that we played um back in august so that that will count for nothing that it's it's a very different set of circumstances um hell of a lot riding on the game so you know we haven't even discussed the fact that we we, we went there and put in a good show and, and won the game um but no this is a very very different game altogether but like i say i can only stress how Pleased I am with the boys, the togetherness they showed to come through last weekend, and you know we've had a we've, we've had a good balance this week in training with with rest and recovery and some tactical stuff, and I believe we're ready to go and and all excited and looking forward to it.